Okay. The next one is the fun one we call turtle and buffalo. <laughs> turtle and buffalo. It gives you a lot of force. And this one, nobody can stand up to 10 or 15 minutes. Five minutes is a lot. Partly it's about one minute in the beginning is a lot. The turtle and buffalo is involved with a low structure and a zigzag of force. And involved with the buffalo breeding right in the goy area. Okay, so I show you the turtle. You now exhale the same breathing again. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. You now pull up. You now. So the chest had to be round. Okay, and lower down this way. Feel like a table. If you have a problem, you can go on the, on the chair this way. Okay, so your elbow press against the knee. And your head straight. Now, we're going to breathe in. Inhale, pull up. From middle back, second, two. Inhale, T11. Inhale, C7. Inhale, best of scalp. Expand your neck. Expand your back. Inhale, up to the crown. <coughs> Exhale. This one is the buffalo. This is turtle. So, the buffalo is involved with buffalo breathing. So very important, especially for lady. The energy shoot right down to the base and opening the groin. The groin is open. If you this one will some people will feel dizzy. So slowly close the eyes. And stand up. Okay? Now if you have back, high back pressure, go easy. Okay? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 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 inhale, pull up your left right kidney, straight, the back has to be straight, not this way, the back straight. Now inhale, down. Now lower down your knee, press your elbow against your knee, inhale, pull up, front, middle, back, second, inhale, T11, expand the chi belt, inhale, C7, expand your neck, inhale to your base of scalp, inhale up to the head, exhale, put your hand down, look up, buffalo breathing. Now slowly stand up, close your eye, put your feet together, collect the energy in your navel. The breathing is the same, okay? Let's do one small. The breathing is the same, okay? So I show you on this side. Breathing. Get your hands straight, and you only move your hand, don't move this way. Are you ready? Exhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull up left and right kidney. Inhale, down. Press again your knee. Inhale, pull up. Front, middle, back, second. Inhale. Pull up to your T11. Expand the chi belt. Feel your whole body expand. Inhale. Up to the T11. Inhale. Expand your neck and up into your, your base of scalp. Inhale up to the crown. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. But buffalo breathing.
Slowly close your eyes, stand up, put your hand in your navel, and collect, put your feet together, and collect the energy. This is very, very strenuous exercise. It gives you a lot of rooting power. Okay? And uh, let's sit down. When you get this position, make sure check that the partner structure is right. Like a table. Okay? So you put one hand on the shoulder, one hand on the hip, and put, push this way. And hold for at least one minute. And rest. And now, sometimes they can rest. And we can get to the, the other side. Okay. Now, just check that the, it's light table and expand on the side. And put the hand here, push steadily. Now the front is the harder one again. The front you need to practice a lot how to zigzag the frost down to the ground. Okay? Now. Okay. Max is very good. Max, you want to come here? Do that? Come here. <laughs> okay, Toto. Lower down your shirt. Yeah, that's good. Okay. More. On the shoulder. That's it. How about front? Okay. More. More force. That's it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, let's do it. If I find the part lower a little bit. Right. Okay. Put the chin down. Oh, we're locked here. Try to it. I the side. Ready? Do it. <laughs> the next one we call the phoenix washing the feather. This is the a little bit harder one, but it's all in what we organ exercise. All in what we exercise. So the phoenix is working this way. I show you first. So you now exhale, you now exhale, exhale, exhale. You know? So you inhale, pull up left and right, and pull up to the kidney. Okay? Now you, you hold it back in the kidney. And next one, we're going to inhale, pull up to the liver. So you inhale, at the same time, contract the muscle right under the ribcage and pull up the anus to the kidney, to the liver. Okay? So you know? And you pull up the left side to the spleen. <coughs> Contract this one and pull up the left side to the spleen. So you at home when you practice, you should go one by one. The kidney first, and when you feel you can do the kidney, go up to the liver and the spleen. Okay? And the third breathing is into the lungs. Inhale. It's <coughs> involved this way to the lungs. And roll the, this energy up this way and pull up. So the exercise to do to go into the lung is like this. Inhale, hold the breath. It's like a ball rolling up, push to the lung, and relax down. Roll up, push the lung, relax down. And you will feel the lung. So when you practice it, you inhale, kidney, inhale, and liver, inhale, spleen, inhale, 
roll the energy all the way to the lung by pulling left and right kidney, and left and right anus to the lung. Now the heart is the harder one, is the last one. You inhale, squeeze your anus, okay, and pull up to this part first, and inhale on here only. Different from the lung. The lung is this side. The heart is right on here. And inhale. Roll from here up to the heart. From the middle anus. Squeeze the anus, pull up to the heart. Exhale. Chest. Chin push the back, chest sink. Inhale. Squeeze the anus, pull up tighter. Inhale, push the pinky finger in the middle. Inhale, 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 exhale. Spread your toes, spread your finger, pull up your sexual organ, tilt the back this way, and spread out your tongue. So it's going to be like this. Okay? Let's do it. <laughs> Let inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 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 inhale. Left and right kidney. Now, inhale, liver. Inhale, spleen, if you can do it. Inhale, lung. Exhale, chin push to the back, chest in, inhale, 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 exhale, to the side, turn your hand this way, now pull up the sexual organs, spread your toes and your finger, and spread your tongue out. <sighs> Shake your hand and leg. You see here, if she connect herself right, okay? Chest sink, chin right. When I hit her, her force is going to transfer to the ground. Okay? So you see here. If she don't do it right, the chin not right, the scap round not connect. The connecting that means the scap round round. When you do like this, the scap round not connecting. But when you sink your chest, the scap round round. You don't touch. You cannot find the scap round on the back. And that we call connecting. When you are connecting, the force transfer to the spine. But you not connecting, the force stuck right in the scap round. You get pain. Now if you do like this, the force going to go to her scap round and going to go fall this way. And you get fall because the force is right stuck in the scap round. But if she <laughs> Do this way, the force from force will go and her scalp route don't take the force. So you see here? Okay. The next exercise is involved if she put her structure right, you can lift, I can lift her up straight this way. Okay? So the, the right one is the chest sink, the scapula connect and the hand connect to the body. And you have to do it, put your leg in the between and hold this way. Okay? And you can lift up. Because she connects herself right, a lot of people will frighten. So we don't want to practice this. People will frighten in the beginning until you, uh, and when you lift up, they hurt the shoulder. Okay? When people are fighting, you cannot lift it up. The nervous, the scapula loose, and you can lift and hurt on the scapula. But when the people wear it connecting, you can lift up. <coughs> the iron bridge in the wall do it right. It's about shoulder width. And in wall width are bending on a lower lumbar. Bending on a lower lumbar. Now, the hand have to be do this way. The hand have to be do this way. See? Holding this way. In while we're connecting the kidney energy. So 
if you bend this way, you're going to wrong, you're going to get hurt in the long term. When you bend this way, you're going to get hurt. Because your spine is like a whole tree going to fall in that. But you bend, you, your leg straight, the knee straight, and you bend from the lumbar, you will stretch the fascia from the chest and the fascia from here. And when you pull your neck this way, your fascia, whole fascia is activated. And when you come back, the energy flows so much. It's my favor when you sit working on a computer. Because you feel so tired and energy don't flow. And I just do this one half a minute, or one minute, I feel energy. The Iron Chi Qigong is so practical, I, do, I lie a lot. Uh, like when I drive a car, I always pack my kidney. When I feel tired, and pack a while, I say, I feel refreshed. And I keep on drawing a car. People, when you sit too long, the blood, you like I said, build up and you feel sleepy. Because the kidney don't work, it's too tired. But when you know the pick and squeeze the kidney, you feel refreshed. So the hand this way, and come to the back, not touching the back, just watch first, don't touching the back, but in the kidney area. Okay? The finger nearly touch, but not touching the, the back, nearly touch. And now, bend from the Lumbar, not bend from the knee. Bend from the lumbar and bend the big head back this way. No packing. The easy way. No packing. Exhale. Just turn down this way. You no need to touch the floor. If you really need to touch the floor, you can just bend your knee a little bit, okay? And knee A lot of people try to push themselves past the floor, and the knee go back this way and hurt the tendon. There's no way, no no need to do it. And rest normally, okay? Let's do it. This is very easy, but a lot of stretching for the spine, for the for the for the for the fascia layer. A lot of fancy energy stretching. The hand this way. Breathe normally. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Bend down. From the lumbar region, not from the knee. The knee must be straight. Your knee must straight. Exhale, bend back, and stay there as long as you want. It's beautiful to stay back. Rest. Okay, remember, don't bend from your knee, bend from your lumbar. And this one gives you so much Energy, just do a few times, uh, just a few half and uh, half a minute, you go back to work. Excellent. Really, very good. I, I, I really recommend. It's a lot of position you can do anytime you want. Again, <clears throat> your knee is about shoulder width, and your leg is about shoulder width. Inhale, bend back. <coughs> Your neck pull a little bit back so you feel a fascia stretch from the front and the back. Now, slowly coming back. You can stay on this position very long. It's excellent. Very excellent. Okay? Rest. In the Iron Chi Qigong, you know, all this Iron Chi Qigong is like this. You can choose one or two positions and do it. You don't have to do it all. Today do embracing a tree. Tomorrow do holding gold iron. The Wednesday do turtle, buffalo. And the Thursday do the phoenix. And the Friday do the... Um, uh, the uh, Iron bridge, and the last one, Saturday do the iron bar, that's all. 
You don't have to do it every day. Only that, do it. That's all. Okay? The exercise is extremely powerful for the lower back. This, in this position, she's very weak on the back. So you have to be careful. You press on here and push down, and she try to push up. And push one hand on the back in case she's falling down. Because in this position, she's very weak on the back. Rest. Now going down. In this position, she has more force than me. So I'm going to push down, and she's going to come up a little bit. And we're going to hold that way. So I push down as much as I can, and she try to come up, and she's going to exercise in this lower lumbar. People have so much weak lumbar, and this is the good exercise to exercise the lumbar here. Okay? This, both, both of them exercise the lumbar, and stress the fascia, and the energy flow, and the back strengthening. All the IMG Qigong that we do when you inhale, pull up to the sacrum, inhale, pull up to the T11, you're strengthening the weak part every day. All this part is a weak part. The neck, the best scalp, the T11, where the people get all the problems from. But when you inhale, 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 you strengthen it. Okay? Like the last <laughs> one is in what we call the iron bar. The iron bar. Apparently, it's involved with you putting your body on your, on your neck and the other part is on, the toe, uh, on your heel. But don't do it in the beginning, you can get hurt on the neck. Do it on the shoulder first. So the way to do it, he like this one. So sit down on the floor, the first thing, push yourself up, the left, put the left leg up, and the right leg up, and the left leg up. Now, push your body up. And put, the, and put the leg together and tilt a little bit this way. And now, stay there and breathe normally. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. The only problem is don't fall asleep. Great. <laughs> okay? okay? So you can stay there for a few minutes and breathe normally. Breathe normally. He's good enough to get on the neck. But usually you should put on the on the shoulder this way, so you don't. And when you gradually good enough, you move to the neck this way. Okay. You see how long you can get on the neck. Now, when you finish, the first thing is put your hand down first. Okay, and lo slowly lower your body down. Put your neck uh, leg up and the leg down and sit down. Okay. Let's do once more. There's one more. <laughs> the first thing, push your body, uh, get your leg up, one, two, push your body up, and one body should be hold on the head. If you're at home, put the head on the wall, and this one can be adjusted. And hold it like this, and breathe normally. And try to pull higher, that's it. Breathe normally. Can Bobby sit on? <laughs> okay, now, rest, put your hand down. Put your leg down one, the other leg down two, and sit down. Don't try to drop down your coccyx, boom, on the floor. <laughs> okay? This one is excellent for adjusting your spine. So you, if you look carefully like this, you put your spine is stacking this way, but instead of that, you put your spine this way. You see? And the gravity started to adjust it. The gravity started to adjust this way, pushing down one by one. So push down this way. Oftentimes, people, it's this way. So the force stacking down this way. And with the, lower, the lower one getting more force. So we have a bigger lumbar. It's lucky we have bigger lumbar. Now, if we have a smaller lumbar, we're going to get big trouble up to... When you get a little bit heavy weight, you get big trouble. All oh, the lumbar gone. You see? But if you do this way, the spine started to adjust itself in a very beautiful way. Now, And it stretches your spine out, and the guard deep do the work. <laughs> Just